Just doing a quick little video here for Rocker Pat on uh, some steering predicaments we're discussing about our Bel Airs. And I don't have a cardboard aided design or any of that other CAD fanciness, but I have whiteboard. So uh, I'm just going to kind of briefly show, like, if this is the center line or the. Uh, Bottom line, you got your knuckle attaching here, and then your A arm's coming out like that to your ball joint, right? And you have your steering rack directly above that, and this is the pivot point of the inner tie rod end, and this is the pivot point of the outer tie rod end. You need these to be parallel to one another at ride height, which is the lower control arm should be level to the ground at ride height, optimal ride height, just sitting, you know, sitting. Now, if <clears throat> these are parallel here and here and here and here, when the tire travels up and down through its arc, the steering will not be adjusted in or out. If this distance is shorter or this distance is shorter, every bump you hit is going to pull because this distance is pushing or pulling on that tie rod link on the hub and it'll pull the steering in or pull the steering out. If you hit a bad womp, it'll pull one, one way and one the other. Now in the comment you discussed, because of the angle of this steering shaft with the thread on it coming out right by the frame here, my idea is to just go ahead and box this out with a piece of, you know, quarter of a piece of pipe, give myself plenty of room for a knuckle, have a knuckle there, a knuckle here, and then a knuckle at the bottom of the steering column. You're gonna have to cut a lot of the steering column off basically like an inch sticking out of the firewall. And then you'll have the room to get it around there and through your headers and etc. Now, in the comments, the reason I say I wouldn't affect this angle up or down on the mounts is because if you do, you're changing this or this. And it's not going to be changeable here. The distance between the ball joint and the tie rod end link on the hub are always going to be the same. This is where it's adjustable. If you twist this at all to try and get this to get out here more, that's going to change that. If you cut this and bend it, then your steering is going to be like cattywampus every time you turn it. You don't want that either. Just some stuff I've been thinking about while I've been dealing with my list of stuff I still have to do. So, drop my phone and I caught it. Anyway, that's what I think about it, Rocker Pat. Uh, tell me what you think. Comment below.